Hello guys, welcome back to a brand new video today. Today is my Premier League prediction table for the 2018-19 season. Now, I know there's still a couple of weeks left in the window, but as the team stand so far, this is how I believe the table will finish up. Um, obviously, I'm aware of the transfer rumours that are going around. And I'll try to explain you a bit more for it as we go through it. Um, so we're going to start off with my bottom three. So guys, you know what to do. Subscribe for more. Thanks for watching and let's go. So the bottom three I've gone with is Cardiff, Huddersfield and Southampton. Now, these I've gone with them, the particular three teams. Cardiff only just came up and I don't think they strengthened enough. Um... Obviously, there's still time left to strengthen, so... Uh, but the way it stands at the minute, I don't believe they got the power to stay up. Um, Huddersfield, yet again, I think they've not done enough business in this window yet. Um, I ain't seen any more rumours what players they could be bringing in. Um, but, yet again, I don't think... Yeah, they've done enough business through this window. Unless they do strip through within the next couple of weeks, I think they could be going down in 19th. In 18th, I have got with Southampton. And while I went with Southampton, yet again, I don't think they strengthened enough. And remember, you got Mark Hughes as a manager, as far as I'm still aware. Um, And obviously he managed Stoke and they went down last season. Uh, sorry to Cardiff, Huddersfield and Southampton fans for that. But that's the way I believe the bottom three is going to end up. Now we go to 17th to 10th. Um, so you can all see it on your screen now. So what I'll do is I'll just explain you why I've done through this route. And this is where it could change a bit within the next couple of weeks. Um, right, starting off with Fulham. I just believe they've done just enough. And I believe their belief system um, have just got it. The light on oh, Matic coming in. I'll probably mispronounce that. Sorry if I have. Um... Mitrovic, I believe his name is. As I said, if I mispronounce it, I do apologise. Um, if they get him in, I believe they can stay up. Um, but if they don't, I think it can be a bit of a scrap next season as well. But obviously only three of the 20 teams can go down. Um, in 16th, I have gone with Wolves. Now, I know a lot of Wolves fans are going to say we should be a lot higher than that. Um, the reason why I haven't put you higher, even though some of the players you have brought in, most of them are the same nationality, but I believe your players will underestimate this league. For example, well, from Brighton, we played City down here on opening day last season. We lost 2-0. We then later on play Liverpool and Chelsea um, and then they come down here and swept us aside 5-0. So that's the only reason I'll put you down this low. Um, I, believe, I do believe you have got the power but as I said I believe you're underestimating the league and I believe you will finish it steep or maybe just above the relegation so, but I don't believe you will go down. 15th, um, obviously Brighton's rivals, uh, Crystal Palace. Um, now, I do believe you will end up in the drop zone if you get rid of Wilfred Sahar. I haven't heard a lot about it over the past 48 to... Well, I've heard a little bit about it within the last week, but it's just like the tiniest uh, link. 
If you do lose him, I believe you will go down and Hullis and Southampton sorry, will stay up. Now, I'm not saying it just because I'm a Brighton fan, but you, without, you did have him 10 games last season and you lost all 10. Uh, if you keep Wilfred, that's what I believe you'll finish anyway. Uh, I think you have made a couple of mistakes with some of the players you got rid of. Um, but anyway, Crystal Palace in 15th. Um, 14th, Newcastle. A club that people turn are struggling with money at the minute. Um, now I do believe you are struggling with money. Uh, lack of signings. Uh, the only reason I ain't put you down in that relegation zone um, is because of the players you have got like Joe Shelby and Matt Ritchie. And so I believe you will stay up. But in that 14th position, I can't see you getting any higher. Or, but I could perhaps see you get some lower. Depends what goes on within this two-week transfer window period. In 13th, I've gone my home team. And if you do subscribe to our channel, you'll see match previews and match vlogs for Brighton. Um, as a Brighton fan... And a Brighton boy, I am happy with the business we've done this season. Um, obviously, we've lost the senior and Steve Sipwell. Um, did play, did play any games last season, but did for us in the championship. And for that, Steve, then I'm, I'm always thankful for what you did for the club. And we also lose. Let's hope we're gonna lose Sam Bulldog. As well so Sam if you do go thanks for all you've done for the club um, you always will have a place in the Brighton Hearts obviously because what you've done as well especially during our promotion period but on with the ins I believe we have done enough I believe we're just going to stay in the top half around 13th I'm speculating where we will going to finish um, I believe we should have perhaps get one or two Defenders in, maybe an extra striker, um, but I believe we will finish in 13th position. Um, now in 12th, Watford lost Richie Arniston. Uh, now Watford's nice club, been there last season. Um, I believe you will finish in 12th. I just believe you need to strengthen a little bit more to get in that top half. Um, but if you don't, I do believe you have got the power to stay up as well. So don't worry too much. But I believe at the minute you will finish in 12th. In 11th, now I know I'm going to get a bit of stick for this. I put West Ham. Now, I know they got Pellegrini in. I know they start to invest, which is what their fans wanted. But I believe you're spending the money in the wrong areas. Um, I went away to West Ham last season, hoping to go again this season. Uh, and I also went to, obviously, the home leg down here. Um, now, what, what we did was you were so compact in the middle... We just bounced off the wings and that's what a lot of clubs look like they did to you. Obviously from all the highlights I've seen. I believe to get in that top half this season you will need to strengthen in the, at the wings. And maybe in defence slightly more. Now in 10th I've gone with Leicester. Um... Now, no disrespect to Leicester. Uh, what I've seen, you've done a bit of strengthening, but you've also got rid of Mares. Um, now, I think he's going to be a big loss. I'm not sure how your Leicester City fans feel about him. Put it down in the comments below the way he left. Um, but I just believe you will get in that top half come the end of the season. In ninth, Bournemouth. Um, 
Um, so as I've just said, uh, knife of Gomborma. Um, now, with Bournemouth, uh, I don't think they strengthened too much during this window, but Eddie Howard does a good job anyway. Um, I went down there last season, hopefully to go back down there this season. It's a nice little ground. For fans that haven't been down there, I urge you to get down there. It's a nice little ground, nice and compact. The way I like my football stadiums when I go watch my football. Um, but I believe Carl Wilson and players are like, we'll do that job for you and get you in that top half. Now, as you can see in 8th, I've gone with Everton. I think you've done wrong by sacking Sam Allardyce. Um, now, I know a lot of Everton fans are going to appeal against that. Um, but I believe Sam Allardyce was the right man. He kept you up. Uh, me being a Brighton fan, it's all about this season for you. Last season went with that 10 something games you lost. Before you brought Allardyce in. Um, but I believe you will finish in 8th. Um, now in 7th. I believe you can shoot yourself in this foot. As you can tell it's Burnley. Playing European football at the minute. If they don't strengthen and bring anyone in soon. I believe they can finish in the bottom half. But only if they qualify for Europe. As well as playing league football. Um, but yeah, at the minute, you ain't qualified in Europe, you're going through the qualifying stages. Um, at the minute, I will believe you will finish in 7th. Now in 6th, you can tell, I've gone with Chelsea. Uh, I believe they will finish just out at top 5, 4. Um, getting rid of Conte... Uh, how quick you did. I believe it's going to not pay off. Uh, there's also rumours of Hazard leaving. Courtois. Williams another one. If you lose any of them players. I believe you will drop lower down. As well. Um, in fifth. Now I know I'm going to get a little stuck, stick for this. I've gone with Tottenham. Um. Now one reason I've gone with Tottenham is because you have got a new ground to go to. You're playing in two grounds in the space of this season. Whether you know it yet, Fulham are playing Tottenham at Wembley. And it's the only league game at Wembley, as far as I know. Um, but moving into that new ground, I think it is going to take time for you to get settled into. But... If... You can get it settled in within that first game. I believe you will pinch that top four, but I can't see. I've never actually seen a team move into a new stadium and finish in the top half or where they're supposed to finish. In fourth, right now we go from four to two. In fourth, I have gone with Arsenal. Now I said this a lot during last season. Arsenal, when I was growing up watching footy, or football, or soccer, or wherever you're from, Arsenal were always in the top four. Um, I was in the top four, always competing for that title. Now, I know Arsenal have got Emre in, and sorry if I mispronounced that again, um, but I believe they have strengthened in the right areas. I'm interested to see them coming down here this season. Obviously, we, they beat us up there 2 0, we beat them down here 2 1. So, for that, I'm more interested in when they come down here than when we go up there, which I lost away game of the season. But I believe Arsenal, if you have got the strength right, you've got the balance right, you will finish in that top four. And I know, obviously, the rival between Tottenham and Arsenal. But I just believe because Tottenham's got that new ground, they're going to just miss out in the top four and Arsenal got to sneak in. As you can tell now, 
uh, with obviously fourth up to second you can tell the teams I've gone with now just playing fourth uh, and as you can tell I was playing at fourth how I've done third and second but anyway I'm going to talk to you for it now um, in third I've gone with Man United um, now yet again I believe United not strengthening in the right areas um, they're looking for a winger for the United uh, boss I would certainly say another striker um, now obviously you're, us Brighton fans remember when we ca when you came down here and beat you 1-0 um, you look weak without Lukaku I'm interested to seeing Lukaku down here uh, obviously we've got you second game of the season uh, but I believe Unless you strength for in this next couple of weeks, you will finish third. And I don't think a lot of you United fans are going to be happy with that. In second, I've gone with Liverpool. Now, I do believe Liverpool can reach that top spot and win their first ever Premier League title. I'm probably going to get a bit of mock for this, but this is what I'm feeling. Now, I believe with Liverpool, they have gone for a strength to strength. Um, as I said, they beat us down here 5 now. They beat us up there. can't remember what, what the result was. Um, but, obviously, you can tell you the top team's going to be in a minute. But the reason I'll put Liverpool in second... Because I just believe this top team uh, has just got has going to change their ways in more ways than what we're going to think. Um, but in first, I've gone with yet yeah, it's the title holders. This is indeed Manchester City. Now, Man City, as I said, they beat us two 0 down here, and then they beat us. Something up there, I can't quite remember what it was. Um, but with Man City, they could change their ways they're going to play. I think they got a bit more skill coming in. Uh, as, I, as I've just said, I believe they could change that. I can even believe that they're going to put the Gorn away roughly wants to play. So... This is the way I believe the Premier League table is going to finish. You can all see it now. Uh, but guys, this is the end of the video. Guys, you know what to do. Subscribe for more. Thanks for watching and ciao for now.